Oh, nice revive there. Ammo inside the house. Is there a car up here? Yeah, Wait. car is outside. Wait, is there a party truck maybe? Taking in, nobody here. Okay, I'm gonna limp at this guy. Go. Nice. <laughs> I switched kit and the other kit also had the limpet. Yeah, it killed me. Best limpet kill ever. Ah, uh, what? We are losing objective Charlie. Oh, thing behind, watch out. It's almost dead. Hi guys, this is Matthias coming at you here with a video about the LMG Bar 1918 Storm. The reason why I decided to make this video is because this LMG is the most used weapon for the support class. Now the thing that I believe at least makes it so popular is that it is very easy to handle oh. this weapon and it kills rather fast. Now, to some degree you could say that this is the equivalent of the automatic of the assault class but the bar is a lot easier to handle at medium range. Okay. Now personally I find the LMG weight and the Parabellum to be a lot better in my taste. I don't see the more difficult handling of those two weapons being too much of a problem even though the Parabellum is actually the weapon that kicks the most or one of the ones that kicks the most out of all LMGs in Battlefield 1. Now important to understand about my opinions about the bar is that everything in this video is based from one day of gaming. It's possible that I would change my mind about the Storm version of the bar if I just spend more time with it. I hate being on top of that bridge. Now it's very possible that the popularity of this weapon depends a lot on what platform you're playing. I don't see, as far as I can tell anyway, that this weapon is as popular on PC as the statistics suggests. I know that for example the Hellregal is very popular on console because of the aim assist and whether or not this is true about the bar I have no idea, but based on my own gaming experience on PC I have to say that I was very surprised over the popularity of the bar storm. Now for obvious reasons playing with this weapon is very different from playing with for example one of my favorites the LMG weight low weight and the big difference I'm talking about is of course the magazine size and the reload time. In this situation for example had I been using the LMG weight I would just try to mow down as many of these players as possible but with a bar here I started reloading even though I had nine bullets left in the magazine. Now the thing is that the playstyle of killing a guy or two and then get behind cover and reloading and then trying to repeat this is something that can be very successful. And if you do that with a bar I'm sure this weapon is fantastic. Personally though, and keep in mind this is only my opinion, I believe that once you can handle both the LMG-8 and the Parabellum then in most cases those weapons are just better. So here this is all recorded after the gameplay recordings actually but I'm trying out the spray pattern and the recoil control of the bar storm and it's very very easy to handle this weapon. So I'll also show you what it looks like when you don't control the recoil. So comparing it to the LMG-8 you'll clearly see that even with control the bullets of the LMG-8 will be a little bit more spread out. There we go. 
So yeah, whatever weapon we like or prefer is a matter of choice and playstyle. And of course, using a weapon for just a day and making up your mind about it, like I did in this case, that is of course a little bit too quick. Now, because this weapon is so popular, maybe a lot of you guys have uh, some suggestions and opinions about it. And maybe you want to point out some things that I'm missing in this video. And if it seems important enough, then I might actually give this weapon another go. Anyway, I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. Oh, everyone's dead here? Yeah, I, I got killed by Tripwire, activated by... Oh, a by teammate. teammate, yeah. yeah. Get another one. We have lost objective dark. Three prior again. Oh. Oh, I got a kill. So long, suckers. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. We have lost objective charge. They're inside B. Oh shit, I almost got that guy. Yes, I am. Yes, Munition. Was willst du noch auch gerade sagen? We almost took Alpha. All right. Munition here. My God, come on, move. They are below the bridge, next to the train.
Munition! And we won somehow. Yeah. If you're used to getting one kill for each life, then I guess it's good. I got another horsey. I'm such a horse killer though. See, if if I had if I had another weapon there, he would have been dead also. But I just run out of ammo all the time. Biraz mühimmat. 
We have lost the objective then. Shu Mihmat senin. Mihmat, aha orada. We have lost objective button. A flame trooper kit is available near your location. Get on us a munition. Uh, so what is the pair? It's it's between that one and. NMG wait, I think. Nobody left there for my limpet. What? Only there's 
Oh, I thought my position was hidden. Call me Pana, I will. That limpet though. <sighs> he put that one behind me. Now the peacekeeper is a revolver, right? It's pretty good. Two shot pistol. Thank you. 